Hello Aries, welcome to Karina Star Tarot. This is a general reading for the whole of the Aries Collective. So take what resonates for you and leave what doesn't. If this reading doesn't resonate for you, then check out your Moon, Venus and Rising signs in some of my other readings. Also, if you're interested in purchasing a private reading from me, then you can find the link to private readings in the description box directly below this video. Please don't forget to hit the like button, share this video and subscribe to my channel. So Aries, I'm going to jump straight into your reading. And the first card out for you is the Hermit. The Hermit. So you could be dealing with a Virgo. The Hermit is the Manger Arcana card. You also got the Eight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Another Manger Arcana card, the Moon, which is Pisces energy. You could be dealing with Pisces. And another major arcana card, the strength card, you could be dealing with a Leo. Yeah, you definitely a strong indication here that you're really working hard trying to get that enlightenment, that get you know, there's a need maybe to pull back and reflect. Um to reconnect with yourself I feel with some of you, you you may decide that you want to be alone for a while you may choose to isolate yourself because you may be analyzing your life looking for a new direction in your life for some of you um, you're definitely looking deep within trying to connect with your intuition for some of you this could be a time for you know, discovery, self-discovery and growth. There's a sense here that you feel it's time to walk away from certain things that are not very fulfilling for you or that have not, you know, that have not made you happy, that have not made you content. It's time to move away, walk away from something. For some of you, it could be a relationship. For some of you, it could be the current job you're in. For some of you, it could be a way of doing things, you know, it could be even friends, you know, you're walking away from something here that's not been very fulfilling. You're, you're, you're ready for new challenges, for new experiences. And we had the moon. Again, this is, I feel, connecting, again, a need to connect with your intuition. Um, there is definitely change coming with the moon card showing here. You know, um, it can be, it can also talk about things that have been hidden from you, uh, deceit, um, someone hiding things from you as well. Um, but it can also be about you feeling disillusioned with your current situation, a need to deepen your intuition. Um, and subconsciously, you know, you, you may know what you need to do but maybe it's hard to take that sort of action for some of you um it can also be about needing to dispense or you know with certain patterns repeating repeating patterns in your life that are not making you feel content you know certain toxic um behaviors feel that you know that things need to change I feel that you know that something needs to change here and you are trying to find strength that inner strength you know to do something about this uh, you're trying to put yourself first to find the strength the courage the confidence to do what you need to do for some of you, like I said, it could be that you need to end a relationship. For some of you, you may need to walk away from a job. For some of you, it's the case, it's a matter of finding yourself, transforming your life or transforming yourself in general, wanting something different out of life. 
some of you may lack the confidence, the courage, the strength to do these things. For some of you, I feel that you are walking away from a relationship or you may have already walked away from a relationship. This could be an indication that whoever you're walking away from, whatever you're walking away from, is charging back in. It's, it's someone that is communicating with you here. I'm going to see what card comes up next before I... Yeah, it's a card of um, rejection here, Four of Cups. Um, whatever's rushing towards you, you're interested anymore you're not it doesn't interest you it's not what you want this is a rejection this is not being satisfied with what is being you here so it could be you, that you feel very unsatisfied in a, a, a love situation For some of you it could be within your job it could be a group of friends it could be with your life in general in general but you're rejecting something here someone's rushing back in not wanting i feel for some of you is someone that definitely doesn't want things to be over but i don't think you're interested in this some of you are definitely not interested in the job but i do believe this is definitely to do with related to love here so i've got the knight of cups i'm going to see what car comes out next We've got the Queen of Cups. Yeah, it does indicate something better is coming your way. So you may be, re be rejecting someone here. And some of you have new love coming into you. There is the Knight of Cups. Someone's coming towards you with a cup of love. For some of you, it could be someone that you are not interested in. It could be someone that's racing back in, someone that, you're, that you are going to reject. For some of you, this could be totally brand new love. Someone that wants to be romantically involved with you is something that you are going to be looking at very closely. You're going to be testing this person and looking at this person very closely without actually revealing revealing it I don't, you know you're kind of um secretly testing this person i feel to see whether they're worth it whether they're worth your time and effort perhaps for some of you and then we have the page of swords so a card of uh, definitely a card of communication here um it is an offer it may not be a serious offer but um there is, there is something coming in. It falls straight under the Knight of Swords. This could be the one that you're not interested in because they don't have much to offer. Um, this is communication coming in, like I said, for some of you. This could be news of um, something else for some of you. This could be news of a job. Someone could be watching you as well be the person that's rushing back into you not wanting it to be over yeah we've got the hanged man so you're definitely looking at things from a different perspective um this is um pisces energy you could be dealing with a pisces yeah i see you really looking at things from a different perspective it's a very spiritual card this um i think that you are deciding to call time on certain things in your life, on certain situations, on relationships, maybe a job, and you are accepting the consequences of your actions. Um, you're letting go of, I think, here. It's You're changing your perspective. Um, you're looking at your past patterns and habits, the way you used to do things, and you wanting to change that. And looking at the bigger picture here, I feel. Yeah, 
and we've got the two of cups and this falls straight under the knight of cups there's definitely new love coming in for a lot of you this new love is going to be something a lot more satisfying and fulfilling for you regarding love because this person is going to love you in equal measure is going to have feelings that are very strong for you they're going to be very respectful they're going to reciprocate in every way this person is going to be full totally and madly in love with you this is going to be someone that is definitely in it for the right reasons do you know what i'm going to leave it there and i'm going to get you out some romance angels now but yeah you can expect some really great a great person to come in here that's really open and ready for love someone that is definitely going to treat you really well here someone that's going to love you the way you should be loved we've got free yourself it's time to take back control of your life I feel that's very appropriate for you you're walking away from things behind you are freeing yourself from situations and things this is what I feel is happening for a lot of you. You're going to free yourself from a lot of things that have, have made you feel very unhappy, unfulfilled. You're taking control of your life back. You're breaking with past habits and patterns, things that are very restricting. You're freeing yourself, basically. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Yeah. You see, you, you're learning to forgive yourself, learning from your past mistakes. And you're doing, you know, you are helping yourself. You're doing things to improve your life, you know, to make that progression in your life, to enhance your life. I think I'm going to leave it there now. But I think this was a great reading for you all. Please don't forget to hit the like button, share this video and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you all soon. Bye.